Okay, so our examples find the missing side. So um, from here, you can go ahead and just um, take out your calculator and you can work on these problems. Um, Eric, sorry. Um, oh, you know what? Never mind. Because uh, I, I started, I wrote it on, mm -hmm. this, on the bottom. Yeah. But I guess I wrote it for the next one, not this one. Yeah. So I was like, where yeah, did it go? That, right? No, that was for that's for number three. Okay. I think. Okay. Was, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, sorry. Okay. So it's it's all good. Just restart from example one. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where did my writing go? <laughs> I was thinking we had to save it and reload it or something, but okay, never mind. Sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, so for examples, uh, the first one we're going to find the missing side. Uh, we have a right triangle, so then we, we know we can use Pythagorean theorem. So here we have leg and leg, and then the hypotenuse is what's missing. So 11 squared plus... 14 squared equals x squared. Now you can go ahead and use your calculator. Um, you can take it out and work with me here. So 11 squared is 121 plus 14 squared is 196. And that's going to be equal to x squared. So 121 plus 196, that's going to be 317 equals x squared. And then x is going to be the square root of 317. And I believe that is a prime number. Um, you might be able to change that to decimal or leave it um, like that. Okay. So if this doesn't simplify, then you leave it like that. Um, otherwise, you can put a decimal. You can, um, But that would be the answer okay, for x. The next one we're going to do is um, leg squared, so 1.9 squared plus x squared, and then the hypotenuse is 3.2 squared. So the leg is what we're looking for. So 1.9 uh, squared is 3.61 and then 3.2 squared is 10.24 okay so then x squared we're going to have to subtract those numbers and we're going to get let's see 3.61 that's going to be 6 point um, 63 okay and then x is going to equal square root of 6.63 and you can just use your calculator to figure that out